moving on to perhaps a less potential winner um <laughs> there is azerbaijan song tell me more this was internally selected um and will be sung by twins turan uh, tural turan x I'm dying from the emotions that i kept down for years baby tell me more about me What are your thoughts? Uh, much uh, like how I'm probably going to be feeling when this comes up on the running order, I'm still just a very overly uh, emotional, just from our conversation about Lorraine. Uh, very excited. Uh, I think um, it's Hannon what are going after Lorraine. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, I, re- I do like this song, I do. It's um, uh, very 90s. Uh, but like, uh, like that thing, sixties inspired, nineties thing. If that makes sense, um, I really like it. I really like the spoken kind of introduction bits. Um, it's very mellow. Uh, it's very calming. Yeah, and I've enjoyed. I've I enjoyed this from first listen. So that uh, bodes well in my book for it. Uh, but not everybody's me. Uh, clearly. Um. It should be applauded as a Bajan going, uh, going back to an Azerbaijani team for the first time since their debut. Um, uh, um, I, uh, interestingly, they still chose to go in English. I think the song, yeah, I, I imagine the song would only work in English. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure how they're going to stay to this. Uh, the music video is quite interesting, um, but, but I, they're not going to be able to do that on stage. So I, I've got questions over how uh, they're going to uh, stay to this. How is it going to be able to patch, uh, capture the attention of uh, Europe? Um, uh, I do really like this song, so, though, so I would, I would like it to do well. Uh, but I know uh, from listening to what other people are saying um, that um, not everybody feels uh, feels that way. But yeah, when whenever this comes on, I really enjoy it. Um, just listening to it again, how is it going to look on television? Uh, so there's a big question about that. I don't know if it's going to qualify. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's going to uh, do anything in the final. Uh, think it would be one that would benefit from uh, a professional jury to have a look at it, uh, which is not the case in the semi. Uh, obviously, uh, for Azerbaijan last year, they scored zero in the televote in the semi-final. Um, but that was a different song. Uh, I, have, I think we can say it's unique, uh, but I'm just so unsure about this. Uh, other than that, I enjoy this song uh, and I like listening to it. And I do like that 90s kind of vibe that it's given um, and I just I can't wait to see it I can't uh, wait to see whether uh, the boys can uh, sell it as well so I, I also love this song um, again I sort of do like that throwback of a throwback like you've said um, and I think their voices work uh, work together really well um, I I think what you're saying is like I don't think it would have worked in anything other than English. I think you're right there because it's this style of um music. It's it is very well. It's very British style, and I think that w- it would lose a lot if you are translating to other languages because you do see that in some of other ones that are sort of imitation of older styles. Um, just through the melodically how it works compared to sorry of like a Zeri language, it flows differently. So I am I would have preferred a song in Azer- in Azeri, but especially because they're doing uh, good doing that throwback to sorry they're uh, doing going back to um Azeri teams what i do worry um with azerbaijan is i like azerbaijani stagings but azerbaijan it, it's safe to say overstages it i mean two massive stands 
um, your trapeze artists, laser, uh, robots with lasers. I love it. It's a ridiculous staircase as well. I love a staircase. Um, it's ridiculously over the top. It's probably not going to work with a song like this. And I can't see Azerbaijan not overstaging it. Um, I think there was a path for this song to qualify. But after, so going before Sweden, you have a very, very intense song. And again, like I said, she's really intense for those two minutes. Then to something that's, that's uh, if you, you either, depending on her staging, you're either having a break or you're immediately having two minutes of something really intense. To then go into that song, I think either, regardless of if there's a break or not, it's really going to hurt as we're down because it's just going to, it's, it's, you're not going to connect to the song the same way as if you were to hear it after, say, the Netherlands or after, say, Switzerland. And I think it needed a chance to shine. I'm really sad it's not going to, but it's probably going to come last in the semi-final. And um, it really does pain me to say that because I think they they do have such a, such a good connection, uh, vocal connection between them. And they are, they do seem to have like really good stage presence. So it does upset me.